Hi guys, this is Mr. Kumar. In this podcast, I'm going to discuss the last part of uh, photosynthesis, that is the Kelvin cycle. The Kelvin cycle is also known as the dark reaction or the light independent reaction. So the Kelvin cycle was discovered by Melvin Kelvin and he was also awarded Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1961 for doing this. So let's go over the detail of Kelvin cycle. But before that, you need to know one of the important uh, factor which is responsible for a key role in Kelvin cycle, and that is Rubisco. Rubisco is the key to the carbon fixation, which is our ultimate goal for photosynthesis. So the atmospheric carbon dioxide, which is an organic compound, is converted into another organic compound, eventually glucose, which was our main target to do that in photosynthesis. So Rubisco catalyzes the carboxylation of ribulose biphosphate, which in short also known as RUBP, to convert that into our glucose molecule. So let's go over the steps of Kelvin cycle. So the Kelvin cycle starts with RUBP that is also called as uh, ribulose biphosphate, which is a five carbon molecule. This is joined by the carbon dioxide, uh, which is coming from the stroma of the leaves, and the carbon dioxide is a one carbon molecule. So it joins the RUBP in the presence of Rubisco, which is an enzyme, which join it to make it a six carbon molecule, which immediately gets disintegrated into a three carbon molecule known as PGA. And this PGA gets converted into G3P in the presence of energy, which is getting from the ATP and NADPH. And these two ATP and NADPH were made in the light dependent reactions. So this G3P, what happens, or what G3P becomes, it can be assembled into glucose, or it can be recycled back to become RUBP. So if G3P becomes, or it goes to make glucose, which were ultimate goal for photosynthesis, and uh, rest of them, it can be G3P, are recycled, to become RUBP, and that's why it's called as a Calvin cycle. So this was the Calvin cycle in which we were able to make uh, glucose from RUBP from the various steps. So that was the whole photosynthesis. Now let's look into short that what happens in photosynthesis as an overview. So. Photosynthesis has two steps. One is light reaction and the Kelvin cycle. In light reaction, the water and the sunlight comes in and it gives away oxygen and converts the energy into ATP and NADPH. And this ATP and NADPH enters the Kelvin cycle. The Kelvin cycle goes under the various steps and where the carbon dioxide is added to make a sugar or that we call as a chemical energy. So we started with a solar energy and that was converted into chemical energy. So that is a photosynthesis. So next time when you look at the plants, you should look at what complex process they are doing in the form of photosynthesis. So that was it, folks. Uh, Study smart, and we'll see you in the next podcast.